Hey, hey, everybody, it is me. In a while after I'm done with this video, I'm going to be going on uh, Twitch TV to see who's DJing right now at this moment. But before I do so, I want to take this opportunity to add something to the conversation that me and Jacob RP had this past Wednesday night on Music Maniacs. Now, as you know, he was on the program with me and Ark Noya and later with Scott McKinnon as well. He was addressing the dark soundscape sets and why are these so dark, dense, disturbing, demonic like they are. I mentioned that I've been a fan of that genre since 1996, starting with the album Continue by Lull. And as far as the um, viewership of these live streams that I often do, I do most of that stuff to please me, first and foremost. But there's something I forgot to mention, and I'd like to mention it here and now. And that is mostly the main purpose of these dark sound sets is basically my middle finger to all the people back in Michigan who had screwed me over, broken my heart, and betrayed me in many ways. Now, I spoke about these many times in the past. A lot of times I was in a rage and a violent mood wanted to go after these people for what they did to me. I would almost make threats, wanting to go after this person, that person, that individual for what they did to me in the past. Now, you got to remember, in the era that I grew up in, you either had to get even, you had to fight back, or you were a pansy, a pussy, a bitch. A lot of times I was not able to fight back and I got teased and bullied for that. It was a entirely different time than what it is nowadays for kids growing up. We didn't have sensitivity, we didn't have compassion, and nor did we have any understanding. It was either take shit or fight back. One or the other. But always get even. And you may recall the many times in various vlogs how this person betrayed me, that person let me down, this girl broke my heart. That girl betrayed me. I was threatened by these people at Marysville, Michigan. I had these people stab me in the back. And one of the things that people often bring up is that I don't let that shit go. Well, like I said... You had to hold on to that shit until you got even with these people. And to this very day, I still often have issues with that rule. Now, I'm proud to say that that individual that I was back then has been long deceased since my firing from the golf club job that I had for a few years. They let me go because of my attitude. Because of the angst that I was laying upon them as well. A lot of times during the pandemic, I sat on my bed. Staring at the wall, thinking about what I was becoming. 
and decided it's time to put that person to rest. Put it to sleep. Put that individual out the door. And one of the first steps in doing so was me collaborating with YR to do that show Metal Maniacs that year. That was one of the first big steps. And not only uh, making amends with someone that I was beefing with, but also healing myself as well. Now, there are times where I still feel a lot of angst, a lot of anger, frustrations over uh, people that have done me wrong. But instead of getting on the camera like I'm doing now and making threats to do this, to do that, I decided to uh, do what many heavy metal musicians back in the 80s did. Make songs, make music about it. I remember D. Snyder, a Twisted Sister, saying in an interview that if his dad were to go to a heavy metal concert, bang his fists in the air, let all that angst and aggression out, he'd be a lot more calmer and cooler when he got home. Chuck D. from Public Enemy stated that when he gets mad, he puts it down with a pencil and on a pad. He writes his anger out. And with the amount of angst, heartaches, betrayals that I went through back in the state of Michigan, where I was born and raised, I feel these soundscape pieces is basically my audio revenge against these people. And since I've been doing these pieces, uploading them on my channel, if it's to say that I no longer feel the need to rage, scream, holler, yell. So in a lot of ways, these dark soundscape sets that I have been doing has been helping me like therapy. I am releasing my anger, my hurt through these pieces. Now, are they dark and disturbing? Hell yeah. There was a couple of times where I would shut off all the lights of my room, listen to one of my pieces. I'm like, holy shit, man. I can't believe how dark I made this set of music. This is something I would not even listen to outside of the pitch black in an open field. But you know what? It is definitely needed to do these pieces. Now, when I will stop doing these pieces of dark art or dark sounds or dark music, I do not know just yet. But Either way, I do enjoy making them. And I'm glad I'm able to release all that anger into these sets. Now, I mentioned earlier that I plan on doing another Dark Soundscape set this coming Sunday evening after I get home from work. And of course, I invite everybody interested to join in and listen. Now, this piece I have coming up is kind of different. It has a little theme to it. I call it a harsh communication between two alien worlds. But either way, it'll be live on my channel 
either at 10 30 or 11 p.m and like i said i invite everybody interested to uh, listen and enjoy so that's it what do you have to say about what i just mentioned do you agree with this philosophy that i talked about and most of all, what do you do to release your anger and aggression? Do you listen to hip hop, thrash metal, stuff like ICP, you know, early Metallica, early Slayer, punk rock like GBH and the Dead Kennedys? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel. Hit both that like button and notification bell. And you guys enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.